Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to um, stitch together your uh, photos from your 3D camera. Uh, my 3D camera is the Reto 3D, which I just picked up the other week. This could also work with the Nishika, um, but today I'll be showing you how to do it with the three um, photos from the Reto. So to start, we go File, go into New. We're just going to open a new document. <clears throat> I'll just name this what I want. Dimensions don't really matter at this point, so I'm just going to create one. Okay. So now we have a blank background. Now you want to go into your Finder and you want to import your developed um, photos. <clears throat> So drag in your photos, hit enter, enter, and now they're placed. You delete the background layer, and then you want to go to your first photo. So it'll go one, two, three in order. So this one is first. So I'll hide this one. And then one by one, you just want to use the selection tool here and just go over the first um, photo. Now you don't have to be too accurate because we will have to do some cropping later on. So select that, um, right click, go layer via copy. So there's, if I hide this one, there's the new layer we just made. I'll hide that, bring back this layer and do the exact same with the second photo. Right click, layer via copy. Now we got our second layer. Um, now with the layers we just um, used, we can delete those as we got the layer one and layer two here. So I'm gonna hide them again and we move on to our third photo. Okay, so now we got three layers. <clears throat> I'll delete the original layer. Yep, so now we've got our three layers. I'll just put them in order just to make things a bit more um, easy to organize. Okay, so there we go. Layer three, layer two, layer one. Now, all you gotta do is select all these layers. So just select one of the layers, hold shift, then select layer one. <clears throat> Then uh, once you're on your move tool, you can just go here and click align horizontal centers. <clears throat> and this should roughly align them. Uh, grab this one. I'll just do that again. Yeah, that should be fine. So I'll move this to the corner. And now we're going to do a rough crop. So go to the crop tool. And then you just want to <clears throat> roughly crop that in. And then now we're going to line them up. So when you actually stitch them together and make that wiggle 3D effect, it's going to be a lot smoother. So deselect the third layer. We're going to do the first two layers first. Hit layer two and go to opacity. Type in 50. Now you just want to move it and try to match it as close uh, to the first layer. So I'm using your arrow keys so I can get a more accurate um, uh, layer. So. What I do is try align the eyes or the hat. <clears throat> I should probably zoom in a bit more. That looks pretty good. Put it back to 100 and then hide it and then go to layer 3. 
and same thing, opacity 50, and then align it. That looks pretty good. Change it back to 100. Bring back all the layers, and now we can crop it properly. And if you're wondering um, the dimensions that I'm using to crop, I use the 4x5. <clears throat> just so we could get as much of the photo included um, and this is also optimized um, I believe is the best um, size to upload to Instagram which is what I'll be using these photos mostly for looks good okay so now we go to window Uh, yep, so under window, go down to timeline and you click timeline. I've just hit it, so click timeline, it'll bring this up, and then you want to go create a video timeline. So then it'll bring up your layers onto here, and now all we got to do is uh, shorten it um, and create a video from this. So. I've got a rough guide that I use, um, which is this one. So for layer one, start at zero, goes for 10 seconds, and it'll end at 10 seconds or 10 frames. So just zoom that in. Layer two, start at two, end at nine. For layer 3, start at 4, end at 8. And then we should get that wiggle effect. Now, as you can see, there's a bit of a, you can see that kind of, <clears throat> uh, what do I call it? See how it kind of cuts off there? And it doesn't look as clean, so I'm gonna I'm gonna recrop it so I can just hide that just so it can make it a bit cleaner. So when I play it back, get that nice wiggle. I think that's pretty good. Yep. And then all you want to do is go file, export. Save for web. Make sure this one's just a GIF. And looping option is forever. And then save to where you want to save it. And you're pretty much done. And now when you go to your file, it should be here. And then if you want to br bring it to your phone, you just go share and you can airdrop it or send it as a message, um, which you can then upload to Giphy or Instagram. Thanks.